Hi everyone and welcome back to Think Science. If it's your first time here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you can be notified of more content. Today, we're going to be talking about evolution and natural selection. Okay, so what is evolution? Typically, when we're using this word in everyday language and talking about something evolving, we're referring to something changing. And in science, when we're talking about evolution, we're talking about changes that are happening within a population or species. A common image that is used for talking about evolution is this image of an ape, and it's gradually becoming more upright, and then at the end, it's a human. But this image is incorrect. An ape didn't just decide that its child would walk upright. Instead, what happens is this process of natural selection. Natural selection is when the fittest members of a population pass their genes onto the next generation, while the weaker members don't survive long enough to reproduce. Therefore, they cannot pass their genes on to the next generation. So the generation that follows is the product of the fittest members of the previous generation. This can happen because in every population there is variation. So for example, let's talk about how giraffes evolved into the animals that we see today. So imagine back millions and millions of years ago, there's going to be different animals that were ancestors of the giraffe. They look like this, and they all look a little bit different from each other, just like humans look a little bit different from each other. Some of us are tall, some of us are short, we have different eye colors. A lot of these variations don't equate to survival, meaning that someone with blue eyes is not going to have a longer or shorter lifespan just because of their eye color. However, some of these variations in populations do affect survival. So in the giraffe population, some of the animals are going to have long necks and some of them are gonna have shorter necks. And this is gonna affect survival because the giraffes eat the leaves on the trees so they need to be able to reach those leaves. So millions of years ago, the short giraffes are not gonna be able to get as many leaves and many of them are going to die. So their genes are not gonna be passed on to the next generation. But the taller ones are going to be able to reach the leaves and they're going to be able to survive long enough in order to pass their genes down. So this process repeats for many generations and each generation, the giraffe will have longer necks and be able to survive long enough to reproduce. So they're going to, because they're able to survive long enough to reproduce, they're going to pass their genes down and each generation is going to have a little bit longer neck than the previous generation. And eventually we get the giraffes that can be seen today Thank you for watching our video. Stay tuned for our next video and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. If this video made sense to you, let us know and leave your questions in the comments so we can answer them. As always, thank you for watching Think Science.